girl. You bet it. Fat Addy. Today we're gonna be checking out the most disrespectful jump scares. Please be respectful and click the subscribe button. Go ahead, just do it now, click it. It'll really help out the channel. And yeah, comment down below something scary. You can put public bathrooms, you can put abandoned buildings, or you can put your report card. Let me know. And let's go. What the sh Oh, hell no. Oh my God. Heck no. I fucking hate this. Oh. Bro. No, 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 no. Why is this game doing this to me? It's time to leave. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Ooh. What the f <laughs> No, no. Yeah, that's a problem if this thing is a uh, Spider-Man flying up, into, up into your window. This is Spider-Man after he put on lipstick and did cocaine. Somebody stop him or tell him where Mary Jane's at. Let's talk about more terrifying lore regarding the scariest game of hide and seek in the game Bug House. Your imaginary friend Eric eventually finds you in that house hiding and captures you. But what happens next is extremely disturbing. You wake up in a twisted and disgusting version of the house you live in. Ugh. You find diary entries around the house of both your parents and yourself. And with this information, you finally learn the truth. The character you play as had a terrible childhood. His parents got to the point where they absolutely hated each other and did horrible things because of it. His imaginary friend Eric was created in his mind to help cope with all of this. And it was this imaginary friend here that caused your character to murder his entire family. And at the end of it all, he still thinks it was Eric that did it. Dang it, Eric! No, I'm kidding. Uh, <clears throat> geez. Well, I mean, that, that's a problem, man. You might want to, you know, go see a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and a therapist. And this guy might need to change that hat. What? What is that? Is that? Is that a walrus on top of your hat? God dang, big anime characters on on your cap, man. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh no. Time to get a new job. Just, just work, work at Target anywhere else <gasps> all right is it moving oh nope <laughs> am i seeing th ah! that dude was so chill pushing dead bodies he acts like he's been working there for years oh it's all fun and games until homegirl shows up looking like she wants a dollar so there's this underwater survival horror game coming out called Death in the Water 2, and it is horrifying. Absolute nightmare fuel. Yeah. And if you have thalassophobia, I apologize for ruining your sleep for the next month. Explore the depths and scavenge for resources to fight off giant sharks, eels, mermaids, and even the kraken. The How excited or terrified are you to play this one? You have to fight off sharks, eels, and krakens? And where the heck did you get that underwater shotgun? You should have brought an underwater grenade. Or, or it's just a grenade. Yeah, yeah, you should have brought a grenade. Blow up the whole ocean and then call it a day. Game over. This is definitely the scariest game to play in real life. The game is called Baby Blue. It's a scary paranormal game that spawns a demonic baby. Ugh. To play the game, you have to go into a bathroom alone, shut off the light, and lock the door. Next, stare into the mirror, hold out your arms like you are rocking a baby, and then repeat the words baby blue, blue baby 13 times nope. without making a mistake. If you do it right, you will suddenly feel the weight of an invisible baby in your arms. The baby will then get heavier and heavier as it grows larger and larger. Ugh. You will then begin to feel the baby scratching your arms. Before it gets too heavy, you have to quickly take the invisible baby and flush it down the toilet and what? then run out of the bathroom. But if you don't do it fast enough, a hideous woman will appear in the mirror and start screaming, give me back my baby. And if you are still holding the baby, she will kill you. Why would I play this game? And what if I don't have a mirror in my bathroom? Like mine's one of those old school ones where it's like, like the, uh, the, there's no mirror. We have a sink, we got a toilet, but you know, it's like a half bath. So you, you, yeah, you, you understand. You have to flush the invisible baby down the invisible toilet. Like what the heck? Or just down the toilet. That's not cool, man. I, I ain't gonna do that. Oh yeah, and uh, you're fired. I'm gonna quit this game right now if there's a third. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I think you should leave. 
Exit. Stage left. Hey. Oh! Behind you! The good news is they only move when you're not looking at them. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head and just keep looking all around and make sure they don't move. What do you think they want? You think they want, like, a, you know, they want, like, a gift card? You think a McDonald's gift card will get them to stop? Or maybe a shotgun to the face! But Let's talk about one of the scariest modern video games ever made. No. Outlast. Now, if you're somebody that's into horror games, this one certainly needs no introduction. While the story in Outlast is certainly serviceable for this type of game, that's not what we're talking about today. I want to talk about what makes Outlast tick. This game doubles down on the idea that games are scarier when you can't defend yourself. Yeah. In fact, during your playthrough, your character is armed with nothing but a night vision camera and some batteries to power it. The entire experience from start to finish is a game of hide and seek. Except this time, there are no breaks in between rounds. When you're spotted, enemies will immediately begin running and yelling toward your location until you can find a safe place to hide. So then that begs the question, does being defenseless in a horror game automatically make it scarier? Well, fans of Outlast and its game design certainly seem to think so. At its core, Outlast is the full acceptance of the game design principles that stuff like Amnesia started. No weapons, no defenses, and only one way out. As always, thank you for watching and follow Jeez. more videos just like this one. No! You just have to run? Like, you just have to run and hide? You can't defend yourself? What the heck? That's terrifying, man. I mean, you better, you know, you better steal a steal a bat from one of these things. You better find a piece of wood. Do you at least have a phone? That's what I want to know. If you can at least call for help and you know get some reinforcements, that at least be a little bit better. Your mom was better last night. Okay, anyway. Kate! Gonna have to choose. Erin, are you okay? Please say you're alright. Get me out of here. Uh, bro. Girl, get up. I can't. Oh, I can't breathe. You're fine. Why don't we point this lever at it. It's gonna die. What? That's jacked up. He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my God. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Uh. Jamie, please. I don't want to die. I don't want. What game is this? This is terrible. We have to choose. Now! Mm, I don't know I'm pretending it's a hard decision. Uh, okay. take out Aaron. Take out Aaron. Oh, no. that's messed up. We had to what do something. You? They were both gonna die. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. That's not funny. It's just a game. It's just a game. This seems like one of the things from one of those Saw movies. With Jigsaw. I want to. Cursed Games You Don't Want to Play, Part 48, The One Hour Ritual. If you play this game correctly, you will receive one hour of good luck every day for the rest of your life. Nice. However, even the smallest of mistakes will result in a punishment worse than death. To begin the ritual, you will need to summon the players, which are the souls of people who have previously attempted the game and failed. To do this, you will need a single white candle, a large hourglass, and an assortment of building materials, such as wood, fabric, and nails. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until the witching hour before placing the lit candle in the center of your home. This will represent your soul. Next, you'll need to hold the hourglass above the candle while saying the words, I seek to do what you could not to avoid the fate your failures brought. Once you have said these words three times in succession, you may flip the hourglass, and the game can begin. For the next hour, you will need to use the building materials you collected earlier to cover every possible entrance to your home. What? This includes windows and doors, but also peepholes, chimneys, and cracks. If you can do this before the hourglass expires, you'll win the game and receive your reward. However, if you cannot complete the task in the assigned time, your candle will go out and the players will come to collect your soul, adding you to their ranks and imprisoning you for eternity. Ugh. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Uh, yeah, let's play the- No, I'm not playing that game. I'll stick to Choo Choo Charles, thank you. Want me to play a game where- Oh, if you don't get it right, they take your soul- uh, No, I like games without consequences. How about that? This horror game is probably the scariest game you'll ever play. No, I'm not kidding. This mm. is a Michael Jackson horror game. Seriously, it might be a joke game, but it is scary. So Michael Jackson chases you on his tippy toes and he hears everything you do. Walk on wood, open a door, and he's after you. And the only way to survive is to hide and nothing else. 
Charles. What's scary about this game is he is so fast. To make a single noise, you only have like three seconds to find another hiding spot. It's faster than the A train, bro. But the game probably doesn't look scary from this video. So you'll have to play this for yourself and I'll send the download link in the comments. Also, please find Jeez, man. You're telling me Michael Jackson, Mr. <laughs> chases you around this house? Oh my God, man. I ain't not today. You better look for an exit sign and then find a way out of there. Throw a hot pot of coffee on his face. Or you might just have to like fart and then run and well, no, no, you might, you know, well, leave a trail. Um, anyway. In this game, you have to pick which one isn't human. Which of these did you saw in your dream? Answer honestly. The left. Ooh, definitely the one on the left. I've been at school too many times in dreams. Are you lying? No. Of course not. Why would I ever do such a thing? Are you alone? No. Yes, I'm alone. Are you sure you're alone? Dang. Nice one piece yes banner no. in the background. Uh, I'm gonna go with yeah. Wait, I can't click yes? I think I have to go with no. Okay. Make a choice. Oh my god! Yeah. Left or right? These look like two really bad Halloween costumes, and, I, and I'm not enjoying it. I left. think I'm gonna go with left though, because he, he got the googly eye. Bro, that's it! Did you win, or, or what? So sad, this black man was never seen ever again. Terrifying game about the disturbing secret that lives deep below the planet's surface. Let's talk about one of the year's best and most artistic video games. Signalis. Survival horror at its most pure and surreal. This is a game about searching for a loved one while playing as something that isn't even human. But that is just barely scratching the surface. This is horror as it was back on the PlayStation 1. Inventory <laughs> management, tense encounters, and lots of puzzles. But the game presents these things in such a beautiful and haunting way that you almost get lost in it. And what about the secret under the planet's surface that I mentioned earlier? I'll sum it up in the same way that this game's intro does. Great holes are dug where Earth's poor should suffice. And things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. Ugh. You guys let me know if you want me to do some lore videos on this game, but in the meantime, please check it out yourself. No, I ain't checking out squat! You want me to play all the, these scary games, these creepy, nasty, disgusting games? Stuff is walking that should be crawling. Zombie or like animals? I don't know what it is, man, but I ain't about to find out, not today. White people be investigating, not me. <laughs> I've investigated sometimes, but you know, we're, we're not gonna talk about that. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead, give it a like. And yeah, I'm Sia in the next one. Peace.